Hello guys, this is Space Obvious Gaming here, and as you can see, uh, I'm going to be taking a personality test. Uh, this, I believe, is the same test that Jackie Boy uh, took, and so I'm kind of interested in seeing what my personality result would be after taking this test. Alright, so uh, as you can see, uh, I answered one question, but then uh, my sister came over and there was a bunch of noise, so I stopped. Um, so the, the question was, do you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people? Not at all. Uh, if I have to meet other people, I will, you know, I will acknowledge that I've met you. I will, you know, I'll probably say hello, but I'm not someone who's like in the center of a crowd saying, hey, look at me. Uh, I'm, I'm much more happy with just being by myself. In fact, I like being by myself. I like to be alone, you know, so that I don't have to listen to other people's stupid opinions. <laughs> you often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I'd say... Yeah, actually, yeah. I'd say that if I get really deep into my thoughts, I, I actually forget that I'm in my room sometimes. So, yeah. You, you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. I don't look at my inbox. Like, at all. I can count on one hand the amount of times I've actually been looking at any emails that I've received. So I don't really care about emails. You know, I don't. So I probably have thousands of things in my inbox right now that I just don't know about. Because I don't care. You know, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I don't care about what you're sending me about some 28-year-old woman in New York that wants to get jiggy with it. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. That's, yeah, I'd say so. Sometimes. Uh, it depends on the amount of pressure. Obviously, if I'm really walked out, um... My mind tends to go towards that, and that walks me up. So, I'm going to say that I, I can, but it depends on the, the thing that's getting me walked up. You do not usually uh, incite conversations. That is wrong. I generally incite the conversation with my brother. So, I'd say very much disagree. Because I'm generally the one that starts the conversation. You rarely do something just out of... Actually, no. Yeah, I'd say no. Um, I don't do it all the time. But if I really just want to know where like a path in the forest leads, I will. I It probably is going to be a dead end. But I'm going to find out where this path leads. And so I go down that path. You feel superior to other people. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say yes a little bit. Because I, I know that I'm smarter than other people. Um, but I'm not like, I'm the best. You know, and everyone else is beneath me. I know when I'm smarter than you, and I will tell you that I'm smarter than you. So let's see. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. No, um, I don't particularly care about being neat. I, I mean, you can look at my room. I'm not particularly neat. Um, you are usually highly motivated and energetic. I would say yes. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. If I am in a debate with you, I have a reason for what I'm saying. Now, I don't particularly care if what I'm saying upsets you. 
And I don't really care if I win the debate. Um, so I'm going to say, I, I guess if you don't pick anything, I guess it says it's neutral. I don't know. Um, yeah, but if I'm in a debate, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I think the way I do. And if it upsets you, it upsets you. And if I win, I win. I don't really care, though. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. No. I will do what I want to do. And if you want me to justify it, well, then too bad. I'm not going to justify it. Your home and walk environments are quite tidy. No, not really. <laughs> my home, my room at least, is, is somewhat of a mess. Um, and when I was in school, I wasn't particularly the neatest person. Um, I didn't make much effort to uh, to have my 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 desk the neatest. I, you know, when I was in school. We had these kinds of desks that we, you know, they had like a storage area at the, on the underside of it, so that you could put like your notebooks and your papers and your pens and your paper, you know, whatever, under your desk so you can easily pull them out. Um, but I also had ones that like they had like a little basket on the side, so you know you could do it that way as well. Um, You do not mind being at the center of attention. I don't really care. As I said, I don't really care about being the center of attention. Um, I mean, obviously, it's like I don't mind everyone looking at me and paying attention to me. But I'm not, like, going out of my way to be the center of attention. You consider yourself more practical than creative. I can be creative. Um, I mean, a lot of the things I made in Minecraft, you know, especially things I made in Minecraft sometimes, were very creative. Things that I would just, you know, that, that was what I did most of the time, was, would be that um, I'd be very creative. So I'm going to say, I'm going to disagree slightly, because while I was more practical than creative, I was also very creative. People can rarely upset you. That's very true. Um, I don't. I'm not the kind of person that worries about how people view me or think of me. I live my life as good as I can, you know. And I do things that make me happy and things that I want to do, you know. And if that upsets you, then well, okay, you're upset. I don't care though, you know. So I'm gonna say no. Very rarely can anyone upset me. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. I don't travel, so I don't have travel plans. So I wouldn't know. Um, but I would say that if I did make travel plans, that I would at least try to plan it out at least a little bit. <laughs> it is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. I would I would say I disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. If I you know I'd say yeah. I'd say a little bit. Um especially like if you're annoying me I can get really mad. But yeah. So my my mood can change but it's generally when someone's annoying me. Or something is annoying me. One or the other. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Absolutely. The truth is the truth, whether you want it to be or not. It, it is. The truth is the truth. You, know, you can believe any other nonsense that you want, but gravity is still gravity whether you believe in it or not. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. My actions generally don't affect other people. They generally affect only me. Um, but I, I do worry about how actions do affect other people. 
you know, so I'd say that I disagree that I rarely worry, because I do. I do worry about how, you know, actions I take or how other people take affect other people. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Well, I am making a fan story, but it's like, it's been days since I've updated it or worked on my fan story. So yeah, I would say that my work style is closer to just energy spikes. Well, I'm, I just, one day I just, I sit down and I walk, you know, and that's all I do. You know, I, I get up, I get the computer, and I walk throughout the night. And that's basically all that I do. I just basically do this one thing. And other times I'm like, I'm just watching YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm, I'm on Reddit looking at pictures of things. You know? I'm not worrying about making my, my fan story. Yeah, I'm doing other things. So yeah, I'm, I'm like energy spikes. You're often envious of others. No. I don't care. I mean, obviously I, I would want, you know, have more money... But it's like, we can pay the bills. You know, while it would be nice to be able to have a mansion, a jet ski, and maybe a pool table, we don't need those things. I can live without a pool table. I can live without a pool. I can live without a lot of things. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social... Yes. Especially a good video game. You know, it's like, you can go out and you can dance at any point. Okay, but Fallout 4 only comes out once, and it's only going to be relevant for a very short amount of time. You can dance at any point in your life. You can dance at 50, but if I'm going to make a YouTube video about Fallout 4, I got to do it as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, what's the point? I, I mean, I would still do it, but what's the point? It's not going to get viewed. <laughs> Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the mo most important part of every project. I, w I would say that it, it would be more important that you get it done, you know, and it, that it's at least somewhat good, you know. Obviously, making a plan and sticking to it is a good idea, but it wouldn't be a really good idea if the plan that you come up with is a dumb one. So I would disagree. It's important to get it done, but the plan should also be a good thing, you know. And sticking to a plan simply because that's the plan isn't a wise thing to do. It should be a good plan. You rarely, you rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. That is not true. Almost every damn day, I, I sit down and I come up with these ideas, you know, I mean... I, just, I, I can tell you, man, that if I wrote down all the things I came up with as a child and as an adult, I mean, my God, Lord of the Rings would be like a fucking pet project. It'd be like, oh, that's cute. Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter. Oh, that's cute. Look at what I got. It's about a mile. Yeah. It's about a mile of stuff. Timelines and kings and queens and wars and treaties and yeah, so yeah, I do get carried away by fantasies and ideas. So yeah, very much disagree with that. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Yes, I, you know, especially if I have to get out and just relax, shit's weighing me down. I, I have the luxury of there's, you know, there's some wooded area literally at the back of the yard. I can literally just straight up go in the backyard and walk into the woods. There's no fence there. I can just straight up just walk into the woods from my backyard. It's it's nice and, you know, and I can just kind of get away from it all. and it, it's, not the, it's not the prettiest. There's garbage all over the place. But, you know, there's... There's also nature, there's the sounds of birds whistling, you know, I think I've seen a, a squirrel, you know, and a beaver, you know, maybe a raccoon, I don't know, but the point is, I've seen nature, you know, and it's nice to be able to just get out of, you know, the, the grime every day, and just realize that 
you know, we're not the only things that matter. You know, we're not the only things that live on this planet and that we have to be considerate of everything else. Because everything else is just as important as we are. If if someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Again, I don't worry about emails, so I wouldn't worry about uh, you not responding because I probably am not going to look at it for like seven months if I look at it at all. Um, as a parent, you would rarely see your child grow up kind than smart. Uh, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. I'd rather they be kind and smart. So I would disagree. Honestly, I would want them to be both. I would want them to have the knowledge, but also be kind. So I would very much disagree. You do not let other people influence your actions. Let's say, I mean, I I would allow people to influence me, but it's it's like very little. But I, I can't be influenced by other people. If, if what you're saying is convincing, I will take that into account. But generally, the, the things that I do, I do because I want to do them. And I think that the reasons why I want to do them are good reasons. Your dreams tend to focus on the reward and its offense. My dreams don't generally have anything to do with reality. I mean, I can... I can tell you dreams where I'm like in a cardboard box and I'm flying. So, no, my dreams don't have really anything to do with reality. Um, it does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your own work, at your new workplace. I don't have a job, so I don't have a workplace, but I would assume that if I actually had a job, you know, it would depend on what the activity is. Uh, I don't dance, so I wouldn't dance. Um... I would say, I would say that it doesn't take me long, but it would depend on what the activity is. Um, you are more of a improviser than a carefree planner. Careful planner. Yeah, I, I, I kind of do everything more or less by spur of the moment. I don't really plan things out all that much because for me. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I do YouTube the way that I do. I don't like setting a deadline. I don't like, you know, saying that I'm going to post this many videos, you know, each day or each week. You know, I, I don't want to, to kind of build a wall. I want to be able to jump from project to project. If I get bored of one thing, you know, put it on the back bottle so I can do this. And then come back later and do that project again. By setting up a plan, I'm, I'm in essence building a wall that I have to basically then just proceed down the hallway. And I don't like that. I don't like, you know, a mental image of a thousand doors of a hallway. And each door leads to another hallway, which has more doors. You know, I want to be able to go... And, and basically open those other doors and go down those hallways. And then come back and finish this other project later when I'm not bored of doing it. When I'm not as bond out on it. Alright? By planning something out, I'm basically in a hallway with one door. And I have to go through that door. I don't have a choice. And I don't like not having a choice. So, yeah, I'm more of... A spot of the moment, pause. Your emotions control you more than you control them. That is not true. Um, I, I I would like to think that I have good control of my emotions. Obviously, if you annoy the hell out of me, then I'm probably going to yell at you. But it takes a lot to make me yell at you. Like, really yell. So, I mean, I might talk louder than usual. But I'm not like... Shut up or I'll stab you mad. You know, that takes a lot more effort. You and you are going to social events that involve dress up? No. And no. <laughs> Both. Um, 
You often spend time exploring unrealistic and unpractical yet intriguing ideas. Yeah, I'd say so. What if the world didn't have religion? What if it was all atheists? You know, how much more advanced would we be? Obviously, that's an unrealistic idea. Obviously, we're going to have religion, so we're going to have racism. Um, but what if, you know, we lived in that kind of world? These are all things I do think about. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. It would depend on what it is. Um, obviously, if it's like like one of my like adventures, you know, things that I'm using just to buy some, you know, bond time, I, it can be detailed. It, it can be very detailed. But most of the time, it's just something stupid and silly, so. I'm, I'm going to say a uh, little bit of improvisation. But not so much that like I never come up with details because I do. Um, you are a we uh, you are a relatively resolved and quite no. I'm very much not. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to find loyal, but on under underperforming employees. I mean, loyalty is a very important thing. You have to be loyal. But at the same time, if you're running a business, you have to understand that it's like, loyalty is nice, but if this lady over here can make me more money as a business, I should be hiring her. She may not be nearly as loyal, but she's going to make me more money. And that's the whole point of a fucking business, is to make more money. That's why you have a business, to make money. And you make money in any way that you can. If that means you have to, you know, do some advertising, you do some advertising. You do whatever it takes to make more money. Otherwise, you'd be working for a business and not wanting a business. If you, um, so I would say that it would not be that difficult. Obviously, I, I would want loyalty, but I would also want employees to perform. Um, you often, uh, the reasons for human existence. You often contemplate the reasons for human Yeah, I'd say I do. Not all the time, but I sometimes do. What is the meaning of life? If God exists... Why would his existence immediately make him a good being? A loving being? I mean, that's something I, I never understood. Hypothetically, they say that God does exist. What, why does merely existing qualified worship? I exist. No one's building temples in my name. No one is passing laws based on my views. So existing doesn't guarantee worship. And yet it does for God. It makes no sense. And I try to understand why people do that. Well, God exists, so I worship. Well, I exist, you exist. No no one is worshipping any of us. Why? No answer. Because people don't think about that. People in religion generally, they just want a basic answer. They want an easy answer. They want a reason why they got fired from war. And they don't want to take as much responsibility. They don't want to... To look upon themselves and say, well, you know, because I constantly underperformed or because I was always bath mouthing the boss. Maybe that was why. But you don't want to deal with that. So you want another excuse. You want some reason other than yourself to why you got fired. And God is a good reason. God's testing me. He's he's issued me a challenge to see if I will overcome. No, you're just a shitty human being. That's why you got fired. It had nothing to do with anything else. You're a shitty human being. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Uh, I would say, I mean, logic's important, but it's not the most important. Keeping your opinions open is more important than having to-do list. Yeah, I'd say keeping your opinions open is very important. Um, 
If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Um, I would rather help them deal with the problem. Whatever that problem is. Um, you are, you rarely feel insecure. I would say, yeah. I mean, obviously, you can't, you can't always be secure. But, you know, I rarely feel insecure. Yeah, I'm gonna bump it up here. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Again, as I said, I don't like setting things into stone. I like to be able to, you know, put that aside and do something more entertaining. Something that isn't so draining on me. So, no, I don't like coming up with timetables and sticking to them. In fact, I think that that is a dumb idea. Because then, instead of being creative, you're just basically, you know, gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta do this. You're just then tacking off steps. You know, oh, well, I've done that, I have to now do this, and I've done that, okay? It, 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 it then takes away the joy of then the doing of it. You're not enjoying what you're doing because now it's just a to-do list that you're checking off as you go. Being white is more important than being uh, when it comes to teamwork. Um, well, being white is pretty important. Um, but if you're walking in a team, you have to also be able to walk with the team. Um, but I, I would still rather be white than than anything else. Because if I know how to beat the team, you know, I'd rather you listen to me than, you know, debate for five minutes on what we should do. Just listen to me. I know how to do it. And we would win if you would listen to me. <laughs> but I, I also understand that you have to be able to walk together. And sometimes you have to put that aside because of the greater goal of TMR. You might lose the game, but maybe losing the game is more important than being white. Alright, uh, you think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whatever they are supported by facts or not. Um, I think that people's views should it, at the very least be allowed to be expressed. Um, whether they should be re respected, that's an entirely different thing. But they should be allowed to be let out to the open. They should be expressed. Um, Obviously, people who believe the moon landing was a hoax are stupid, and their thoughts are dumb, and they shouldn't be respected because that's stupid. And and they make up all these excuses of, well, why is it that we don't see the stars? Because they didn't expose the damn photo long enough. Okay, do you not understand how photos are taken? I light comes in. And that affects the the photo. If you have a longer exposure, then it's going to then bleach everything else. You have to have the photo exposed just long enough to get it just right. The reason why you can't see the stars on the moon landing is because the photo wasn't exposed to light long enough. Alright? To actually see those stars. Had they exposed it long enough to actually see the stars, you wouldn't see anything else. Because it would be bleached out. It would be whited out. It would it'd be too bright. You have to have contrast. You have to be able to see what you're trying to see. And sometimes that means you, you have to remove things that are less important. The moon landing was a very important thing. We know that the stars are there. Alright? But is the stars more important than the landing on the moon? Obviously not. So I would say that people should be allowed to express their opinions. But the, those opinions should also be based upon facts. So I would disagree. In a way. I would disagree in a way. They should be allowed to be expressed. But 
they should also be supported by fact, by evidence. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Actually, that would probably drain me. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, thank God I can be alone. You, you frequently misplace your things. Not really. I mean, generally, I know more or less where things are. But yeah, I sometimes do forget where things are. Not a lot, but sometimes. You see yourself as a very emotional, emotionally stable. Yeah, I would say so. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Very true, I would say so. Uh, you would not call yourself a dreamer. I would, I would say that I am a dreamer. Um, obviously, you know, I, I, I want to base them in reality. Um, you usually find it difficult to relax from talking in front of many people. I don't generally talk to a lot of people. But I would imagine that I wouldn't be particularly comfortable. So you would usually find it. Yeah, you know, I'd say that I would probably find it somewhat more difficult to talk to a group of people. That's more than maybe a handful. Um, simply because I'm just not used to it. I haven't really had to do it. And honestly, I would rather not do it. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Well, my experience, you know, it would probably be more important than my uh, imagination. You know, in in most things. So I would say that I would rely more on my experience in life than my uh, imagination any day. You are too much about what other people think. No, not at all. I don't care what you think of me. What matters is what I think of me. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Well... It, it would depend on what's at the center of the room. You know, if, if the tail with the cupcakes and the potato chips is at the center, I'm probably going to be closer to the center because I want the damn potato chips. But yeah, I would, I would probably be more or less, most of the time, at the edge simply because I don't want to be squished. You have a tendency, uh, to, okay, until there's not enough time to do anything. I, I do sometimes put things off. Um, but the things I generally put off are things that I can come back later. They're not really time critical. So I do put things off, but they're not that important. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. I feel very stressed and stressful in Situations, I would guess you can say anxious. But again, I'm not very, you know, I'm not someone who allows the emotions to get flip flopped all the time, so. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. I'm not really sure if I would want to be liked or more powerful. You know, I mean, that's, that's something. Like, would I want to be liked? Or would I like to be powerful? I don't know. I mean, if you like, then being powerful becomes easier because then you have allies. But being powerful allows you to do things. I don't know. I would, I would say that I would probably rather be liked than powerful because then, then you're expected to do stuff. You know, the the expectation of you doing something increases with the more power. So I would say I'd probably want to be liked. You've always been interested in unconventional and I, in books, art, and movies. Um, I would be more interested in video games, I guess. That, yeah. So I'd say yeah. You often take incentive in social situations. Again, I'm not particularly social, so I wouldn't generally do that. But, yeah, I mean, if I want to have a conversation with you, I will begin the conversation with you. So, let's see what this is. Oh! Uh, what? No! Oh, you son of a... Fuck. 
Oh, you are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I think that you have an understanding of who I am, even though this stupid thing isn't allowing me to actually see my result. Um, so basically, I'm a pretty laid back guy. I don't allow my emotions to get really affected. I do believe that your opinions should be allowed to be expressed, but they should be supported by facts. I don't like putting things in stone. I like to be able to set them aside and do something more entertaining, something that I would find enjoyable, and then come back later when I'm less bond out. Um, that's more of who I am. So, you know, you can probably try to figure out what that kind of personality would be. That's what I am. Alright? So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It kind of sucks that we didn't get to see the the outcome of this but I think that you have a good idea on who I am regardless so thank you for the time and I hope you enjoyed it see you later